Android users, this video is for you. I'm gonna show you 10 new Android settings that you need to change to unlock new features, hidden features, or to just make the overall Android experience a lot better. So you know what, let's get started. So you know how iPhones have this offload apps feature where unused apps are removed after a while. This removes the installation data while keeping in your app data. Now Android has a very similar feature called auto archive app that not many people know about. So to turn this on, you need to go to play store settings, go to general and here you'll find this option that you can turn on and it's easy. This works the same as offload apps as it removes the app but not your app data. So great to free up some storage. Okay, so most of us use Chrome on our Android smartphones and there's one Chrome setting that you need to enable right now. See, in Chrome, there's this button next to the address bar that lets you open a new tab, right? Well, you can customize this to be more useful. All you need to do is go to the Chrome settings and here you'll find this toolbar shortcut option. Turn it on if you don't have the button in your Chrome. Now you can set this to based on your usage, which recognizes your usage and changes the button accordingly. Or you can set it to new tab, you can set it to share, or you can set it to voice search, which is very useful. The next Android setting is for people who use their phones a lot at night, which is pretty much everyone. Now, you know how even the minimum brightness of your phone is too bright to be used at night? Well, that's exactly what this new Android setting fixes. Look, all you need to do is go to settings, go to accessibility, where you'll find this extra dim option. Now, turn it on and this will dim your screen even further. And this will enable a quick setting style for the same. Now, whenever you need your screen to be extra dim, you can just turn this option from the quick settings quickly. You can even choose the intensity of this feature from right here, which is very useful. Let's face it, we all hate the your this call is now being recorded announcement on Android. But the good news is there's now an option to record your calls without this announcement. It's simple. All you need to do is go to the phone app, go to settings, call recording. And here you'll find this new option called play audio tone instead of disclaimer. Now just turn it on. And then when you hit record during a call, it will only play this beep. Another very useful setting to turn on here is that you can set call recording to always on for unknown contacts and you can set auto call recording for certain contacts with this option which I think is very useful. The next Android setting is for people who want to lock and hide their files completely. I mean, Google Photos has a lock folder feature where you can put your photos like this and even back it up so you don't lose these photos when you're changing your phone. But not everyone knows that the Files app on Android has this safe folder feature, which is even better. I say that because this uses a completely different pin and pattern than your phone's lock. In fact, when I choose a pattern, a simple one does not work as you have to connect five dots at least. Now, all you need to do is select a file to send to the safe folder and it's now safe and locked. Easy. So autofill on Android is very useful, but there's one little problem. See, anyone using your phone can just open an app or a website, tap here and simply log into your account. Now you can add an additional step to this. Just go to settings, password and accounts, tap on the autofill settings here, then go to preferences and turn on authenticate with biometric. Now when you use autofill, Android will confirm things once with your fingerprint, which is definitely better. Next up is an Android setting that you need to use if you use YouTube a lot on your phone. So in YouTube settings, you'll find this try new features option. This basically lets you try new experimental features in YouTube. As you can see right now, there are two new features I can try. One is YouTube Play Buzz. Now, when you turn this on, you'll find these cool games you can play in your YouTube homepage. I can just tap on a game and get playing. It's fun. Another feature I can try is common topics summarized by AI, which sounds like a really cool feature, but I'm yet to see this in a video. So try this out and comment below if you see this. Another setting you can turn on is the ability to see air quality index in Google Maps. I mean, it's very simple. Just open up Google Maps, tap on this map settings option, and here you can change the map type and what map details you want. Now in this, you'll find this air quality as the new option. Turning this on and zooming out will show you the air quality details in your area like this. Next up, YouTube has a new stable volume feature that kind of balances the sound range from quite loud. And I'm not a big fan of this feature because say you're watching a movie trailer, you need to feel that bam hit you, but that's not possible with stable volume. Now this is enabled by default in YouTube, but when you're playing a YouTube video, you can hit the settings button here and now tap on additional settings where you'll see that the stable volume is turned on. Just turn it off and that's it. Now you should feel the bam. 
Now the last Android Sydney that I want to talk about is for Android 14 users, which I know is not a lot right now, but you can turn this on when you get Android 14, which is probably never for some people and uh, maybe here for some people, but let's get to the point. So in Android 14, you can turn on flash notifications from the settings. So when you get a call, you can have the flash blink like this. You can even have your screen flash like this, which is useful in some cases. So these are the new Android settings that I personally found useful, but if you have any other setting that you want to recommend to everyone or any other setting in any other app that you want to recommend, make sure to comment down below. And thanks for watching. See you in the next one.